What is going on? I'm Zedmont. We are going to be doing something a little bit different today, talking about how to start a second account. Boom Beach is all about having more than one account at this point. Having two accounts for warships, incredibly, incredibly useful. Now, first of all, the first step to creating a second account, as always, is throwing creator code ZMOT into your creator boost. Not required, but it improves your chances of getting that 42% gunboat energy from your sculptor. Now, this account is a little bit different. My, I have one that is the single sniper account. This one is going on the unopposed now, if you have any questions about the unopposed, do check that card right there. It's going to describe what the heck I'm talking about. This is what the heck I'm talking about. I am never, ever, ever going to be attacked by another player unless I choose to be. That's because I have unlocked the magical, magical clouds. Now, for those of you thinking a second account takes a long, long time, this account I started nine days ago. You can tell because I got the extra builder on that first day. Now, I also got it for $1.39 on sale or something crazy like that, so super, super valuable. I am currently at HQ level 9. I am at XP level 18, flying, flying, flying along. So, I'm um, going to show you all of the things that I'm currently at. So I'm going to show you where the heck is this? Where is my right there? So this is a comparison of what I've got versus all of the clouds I'm going to unlock. I'm not going to have uh, Imitation Game. I am not going to have Kavan. I'm not going to have Everspark or War Factory. But you never, ever, ever get attacked, except for on those resource bases, of course, which you don't lose any loot on. So not the end of the world. Lots of reasons to make a second account. Now I'm going to show you how to do that, and then we're going to jump in, do some Lasertron fun, fun things. Also, some of the things that I do have, I am in a task force. If you're looking for a task force that is going to give you somewhere between 9 and 15 diamonds a day that you don't have to actually do anything, look for the second Triangle 9, the original Triangle 9, 11 out of 50 at the moment. I don't care if you just come in here and sit here and do nothing. As long as you have at least one intel on the week, going to leave you in here, collect those free diamonds. I'm going to be in chat once in a while, not a heck of a lot. Um, so I've got the task force. I've got a couple resource bases. Very, very vital detail here. You see that those outposts are right on the shore. Me and Mr. or Mrs. 1212 have been trading the resource base back and forth. That's an easy way to get that supply chest without increasing your victory points, without having to do any work. You just trade the outpost back and forth, back and forth. That is why... I have moved the outpost far, far from that rocket launcher's range. Lots and lots of small little details that you learn the second time around, or that you use the second time around. Um, I have got Dr. T Tropical over there, Dr. T Volcano back there. We're going to have the Mega Crab. As soon as I get my base to HQ level 10, we're going to have warships. There's going to be all sorts of sources of loot and entertainment and enjoyment and all of that sort of stuff. Moving on to the meat and potatoes of this, in order to get that second account, you need to be using Supercell ID. Supercell ID is super, 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 super critical. Um, if you have some Chinese account you inherited and made when you were in China, and you're, you can't do this stuff. It's, the Chinese accounts make a huge, huge wrinkle because they don't have Supercell ID, uh, so we're not going to be covering that. This is only for those of you who have never been to China or don't. Anyways, moving forward, click that Supercell ID button. Couple options on here. Online status doesn't really matter, but I like to turn off friend requests on my secondary accounts. I find that it helps a little tiny bit. So moving forwards, we're going to click that log out button right there. Logging out, off goes the log out. Also, off goes my blanking thing covering my email address, and then we're just going to click play without Supercell ID. Boom! That's it. You've started a brand new base on the archipelago. You need to go through the tutorial, and then as soon as you get the option, save it as a new Supercell ID. Now, quick note, if you use Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail or whatever the heck you use, they have an option called plus addressing. That means if your email address is commander at gmail.com, if you use commander and then the plus sign, second base name, you get all of your emails going there. Do hit me up in the comments. I will explain that for you. 
just know that you don't need to make a second email account. You put all of your addresses, all of your accounts on the same email account. It will make your life drastically, drastically, drastically simpler. Now, for those of you playing Warships, make sure you check the shop because there are some free keys in there. Notice that those keys were not in there on my lower level account because it doesn't have Warships quite yet. Yesterday's video, I showed you how to use all of the defenses to get into Diamond. Hopefully those keys give you the opportunity to get something that you were a little bit short on without the need to collect those chests. We'll be doing more Warship stuff later on, but for right now, these Lasertrons, and by the way, I know Cosmic Duo have a mid-level uh, gameplay video here on how to use Lasertrons, so do go check that out. I haven't watched it, but for mid-levels, level 51 or so, um, I consider that mid-level. They call it low. Potato, potato. Um, do go check that out. For Lasertrons at the max level, it's just full-on ridiculousness. Maybe drop some... I like to drop some critters just to give myself a little bit of time. And then we're just going to throw a shock on that grappler. And then you just hang on for dear life because these puppies are going to crush everything in front of them. That base looks a lot like mine, to be completely honest. So maybe Squiggles... No, it's not quite a lot like mine, but just absolutely crushing everything. Zero tutorial needed on the Lasertrons. You just drop them and watch them destroy everything in front of them. Now, I've seen a couple people post on Discord or Reddit, how do I defend against Lasertrons? Simple answer, you don't. Now, quick, quick note, when you're building that second base, that new base, if you don't have instant training, it's a great way to swap between accounts. You load troops on one account, you swap to the other account, potato, potato, Bob is your uncle, and you just don't have to wait for those troops to load. Also on warships, you just drop the troops, come back, switch accounts. Very, very easy way to keep yourself entertained with Boom Beach. I wish that wasn't the case, I wish you didn't have to do that. But it's an easy, easy way to combat the time lost when you don't have any troops. Now, one other th quick thing to note, upgrade your headquarters as fast as you possibly, possibly can. This is not Clash of Clans. Don't need to max your headquarters. The faster you upgrade, the faster you're going to get those new events, the faster you're going to get these beautiful, beautiful Lasertrons. But if you decide, hey, you want to do a Clash of Clans style base, just maxing absolutely everything, then that is the beautiful thing about making a second account. Don't even need to think about it. There are all sorts of different ways to play Boom Beach. It is crazy just how many creative ways people have come up with to play this game. Um, I can't imagine the amount of time and effort that went into coming up with the unopposed strategy. A big shout out to all of those people like Scarlet that spent the time to write up these kind of guides. Um, now, if you are someone who doesn't like to watch videos, you just would rather read about it, there are all sorts of guides on Reddit, on Discord, for example. The forums are no longer a thing, so um, forum posts have been migrated again by Scarlet. Big shout out to her for spending all of the work migrating those things over. I, th I assume Scarlet's a her. I believe Scarlet's the name of the dog. Um, so if Scarlet's not actually a her, then my apologies for assuming the gender and all sorts of things like that. But uh, Lasertrons, so, so much fun. And I have been yelling and screaming at Supercell that every single prototype needs to be like this. The Protector, garbage. The uh, Engineer, garbage. Every week that the prototype troops come out, they need to be exciting, they need to be over-the-top fun, they need to make people want to max their base out. Like, getting your base so that you have two Lasertrons per landing craft should be a huge, huge incentive. Right now, Lasertrons, Heavy Choppas, I can't think of anything else that maybe... the Oh, Rainmakers, of course, but... All of the original prototype troops, just so, so strong, so, so good. Max your boats, max your landing crafts, max your headquarters, max all of the things. Um, I am going to try to find an operation attack on one of my accounts where we can use Lasertrons. Not sure if that's going to be possible or not, but we'll give it a go. Okay, just to stay on topic, you'll notice I only have one level 24 landing craft. Once you start 
to get too many accounts. You just can't keep up with the rigors of upgrading and of your sculptor. So a little bit of a warning here. Be very careful how many accounts you create. It's really, really simple to make four or five at the same time and just upgrade them one after another because there's not a lot to do early, early on. But once you get a little bit later, suddenly you've got 36 landing crafts you need to upgrade. You've got four sculptors that you need to keep working. So uh, dangerous, dangerous proposition, but a good problem to have, I gotta say. So you'll notice how many shards I have there. Just can't keep those shards going through that sculptor. I am going to boost some things because I don't have enough land landing crafts full of troops. So as a result, I'm going to throw a couple boosts out here, just trying to get all sorts of... I use this account for crab, as you can probably tell. Um, don't do a lot of crabbing, though, because there's just too many accounts, like I said before. So we're going to attack Dioxin. We are going to bring in all of the Lasertrons. Now, these things just shoot forever and ever, so I'm going to try to make sure I target them so that they do shoot those um, lay, um, boom cannons in behind. And then slowly but surely, I'm going to drop Mr. Bullet. Now, you need to be very careful about where the heck you point these things, because what will happen is they will shoot all of the things in behind. You can get them doing all sorts of damage. I'm going to bring Brick Bullet over here. I was a little bit afraid he was going to go in, that the Lasertrons were going to go towards those boom cannons. They turned right towards the sniper towers, which was perfect because they outrange the sniper towers. And now, just coming through here, super, super simple, clearing all of the things. We're about to have our medics go into the fray, get into a little bit of danger, but Lasertrons, so, so good. I know that's not 100% on topic as far as creating a new account and all that sort of stuff, but... Um, Topics, schmopics. We're just going to cruise on forwards using these laser trons to clear as many buildings as we possibly, possibly can, setting things up for those hitting in behind us. This task force is one where doesn't really matter what we do a heck of a lot, so not overly, overly concerned about whether or not we solo this. Just going to get all of our troops cruising in, getting rid of those boom cannons. Medic's doing a little bit of health help right now, but as soon as we get a little bit closer to those rocket launchers, they will be slightly more useful. Clearing all of the mines, Bullet's energy drink, keeping him alive. And so Bullet's only job right there was to get rid of those front, front boom cannons. If he dies at this point, really, really don't care because the boom cannons have all been removed. We're going to try and keep him alive as long as we possibly can, though just trying to keep some of our medics alive. And if you're wondering why the heck I'm using medics with these Lasertrons, it's because I wanted them to be able to get through some of those rocket launchers, but I probably dropped them a little bit early. So not an ideal attack by me under any circumstances, but look at this, just absolutely crushing this entire left-hand side. Now, they're, the buildings they have cleared so far haven't been super duper useful, but things are going to start to get more and more useful as we start to clear towards that core. Getting into these boom cannons, getting rid of some of those rocket launchers potentially. Out comes the Scorcher to take a couple shots to the face for us as we get rid of more boom cannons, more buildings, lasertrons. You don't have to solo bases as long as you're clearing towards the core with these puppies. Now bases that they are very, very good on are... For example, Redline, Fang, any base where you end up throwing all of your Grenadiers towards Shield Gens, they do more damage the further they go. So the beam at the front is going to do the least damage. As it burns through that building, it's going to hit it multiple, multiple times. I mean, we cleared that entire left side of Dioxin. Typically, I would just solo this using Zookas. But we saved whoever's going to attack next, all sorts of gunboat energy and had a little bit of fun using Lasertrons in the process. That's going to be all for me today, though. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of a guide, a little bit of details. You're probably going to have questions. If you do, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments. I always, always respond to comments, and there are all sorts of great, great details of how to progress, how to build a second account, how to do unopposed, how to do... Like, there's just so, so... 
Boom Beach has been around for so long that there are guides how to do basically everything. Also, I have been around for so darn long that I probably have a video that covers all of the things if you would rather watch and listen to some all my older videos, some chip tunes, and or terrible audio. Um, might be need to refresh some of those. So if you come across one of my videos that is out of date, please don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments as well. So that is all for me, my friends. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click, claim your supply chest every single day and keep those raw crystals moving. I'm Zedma. Thanks for coming in. Peace.